Hi, welcome to Two Minute Writing Tips. I'm Kirsten and today I am going to show you a super cool dictionary that is ideal for people who love to write but are also visual thinkers. Dictionaries have always been a staple of my life. I have been a voracious reader since childhood and if I came across an unfamiliar word and asked one of my parents about it, their answer was always the same. Look it up in the dictionary. And you know, my parents were right. My dog-eared copy of the Oxford English Dictionary was instrumental in the growth of my vocabulary when I was a child. But there are times when words don't really cut it. What if I tell you about the human skull? I can tell you that the coronal suture joins the frontal bone and the parietal bone, but unless you're a doctor, does that mean anything to you? That's the drawback of dictionaries. They rely on our ability to form a picture from words, and that's not always easy. Merriam-Webster has come up with an online visual dictionary that gives you a definition, but also visually lays out what the components of something are. To use our earlier example, here's the entry for skull. It gives you a definition right here, and then here's this labeled picture. A definition is included for each of the labels, and some of these are broken down and cross-referenced with other definitions. If you are writing about things that are technical in nature or that have a lot of physical detail, this is a great resource. It will give you the right terminology, and if you can understand something better by seeing it visually, you may be able to write about it with more clarity. While I loved my Oxford English Dictionary as a child, I don't ever recall browsing through it just for fun. I used it when I wanted to learn about a specific word. This visual dictionary is something you can browse just for the enjoyment of it. You can look for something specific in the search bar, or you can take a look through these categories. It's informative, and it's a lot of fun. That's it for today. I'll see you tomorrow for a new writing challenge.